What up, fish people? Kenny E with Danikin Aquatics. Well, guys, I was walking by this tank tonight. Haven't done a video for you all in a while. These guys are all flaring, so I figured I would give you an in-depth look at the 55-gallon Zebra Cara. And then we have our Black Ruby Barbs in here, as well as a colony of Longfin Albino Plecos. But these guys are absolutely amazing fish. He's actually light. There he goes. Now he's starting to flare them. See that, guys? Oh, we caught it on camera, too. See it flaring? So these two are starting to show uh, a liking for one another, which is cool. But I probably need to get my water a little bit better condition for them to full, full go. But they're starting to show off for one another, which is cool. See how black they turn instantly? It's absolutely cool to watch. And I've got another pair at the other end doing it. Oh, she's really black. Now let me bring you down here, guys. Nice and slow like. Look at her, guys. Wow, just completely blacked out. So I've actually got two pairs pairing off. So we might have to get these guys their own little dens. But absolutely stunning fish, guys. If you haven't kept them, definitely recommend them. They're starting to get more readily available in the hobby. My good friend John is probably a good reason for that. He's bred several of them out there. And they're starting to get these readily available in the hobby, which is cool. He bred his from uh, Wild Caught. So these are F1s that I have here. But they're absolutely amazing. Tank raised F1s. And about the only people they're mean towards are they're each other. That's about it. And this guy's kind of a solo dude. He's kind of been put on the odd man out status, which is sad. So I will probably find, I know I've got a few friends that are keeping them. See if somebody's in need of another male. That's a little male back there that's been outcasted. Even the females go after him when he's not considered the man. There you see her chasing him off. So this guy's probably got to go immediately because... He is the odd man out with two full pairs in here, so he's going to end up getting killed or just absolutely uh, unmerciful aggression towards him. So I think we will get him out of here. So any of my friends if you, in the area here, um, you go ahead and give me a call. We could probably work something out. But I don't want him being killed but these are the zebra cara yeah he's not even trying to show dominance either he's trying to be as submissive as possible and the males just start to get his flare war paint on that's a i love these fish but believe it or not i actually dig the females more than the males because they seem to just be more just vivid look at that is that amazing or what and they change it like kind of like the rainbows do i mean it's instant they go they can go from silver to that color in like thir less than 30 seconds but she is really war paint up oh man is that awesome man i suppose i shouldn't there's one one of my albinos We've got several of them in here. I've still got them scattered about the fish room, though. Eventually, Danny and I's plan is to probably do another 55 like this because it's the easiest. We'll put a row of peco caves there, and then we'll put some floating plants, and then basically, plecos will have the bottom half, and then we'll have endlers and guppies, one or the other, up the top. I did just get. A serious cool stack endler 
I got those at the last Guppus meeting. I was stoked out of my mind. They're all juvenile still, but we'll see what we end up with. I think I had like eight of them, so we'll see how they turn out. I'm hopefully can at least get, I almost prefer like maybe two males and all the rest females would be amazing, but we'll see how it goes. And then, of course, you guys remember the black ruby barbs. Then Danny's, <laughs> it cracks me up. This started off as a little itty-bitty chunk of mosses, and she's got this stuff just going out of control. So if you're looking for mosses at Fishtoberfest, I think we'll have some. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to showcase this for you guys. This will be a fish that you can obtain at Fishtoberfest. They'll be juvenile, but this is what you'll get when they grow up. So if you're coming to Fishtoberfest, look up John Bay Hayes table because I'm sure he'll have some. And they are amazing. And the more of them in the hobby, the more happier I'll be. Because when we got them in the hobby, that means less are being taken out of the wild. And it leaves the wild populations for future gens to see, right? Yeah, I definitely, de don't you, is she picking on, my, or he picking on one of my, almost looks like he's picking on a pleco back there. I've never seen him do that. But as you can see, very curious fish. They'll come up and check you out. What, you going to bite me too? Anyway, guys, I just want to give you a quick update. Happened to go by it and saw them doing their little flares, so I figured I'd show you guys that up front and personal. So, as always, love your fish. This is Kenny E. with Danica Aquatics checking out for now. Have a great night.